Uh, hello guys, welcome back to another episode of the Pokemon Gen 1 Randomizer Solar Runs. Uh, it's part 22 now, we are on Lickitung, as you can see on here, the side. First time, surprisingly for us, uh, we've run a pure normal type. There are a few, a few in this game, we've got the Tauros, Kanga, Jiggly, Wiggly, uh, Clefairy for Fables, um, and of course Lickitung itself. Uh, there's probably a few others as well, which I can't think of right now. Um, but look at the stats, <coughs> the, uh, <coughs> excuse me, base stats of Lickitung. I'm not entirely sure this run will be that great. Uh, it's definitely going to be better than the last one, Shelder. Uh, we'll take a look at where that exactly finished in a second. But Lickitung is medium fast level up group, of course, uh, well at least. Unlike Shelder, which um, was our last run. Uh, we are probably going to start with normal type moves, of course. You don't get stab boost, um, but obviously physical moves you'd think would be the best. Uh, not actually the case, guys. If we go down to Lickitung, I'm not going to sort Pokemon by stats, but Lickitung is a classic example of Pokemon that's pretty well rounded. It's not insane in any start, it's not bad, well, I was going to say it's not bad in any start. The main problem we have is our speed is awful. Worse even than Shelders. A 30, only 30 base speed. So we get out fed by a lot. I mean, it's only five, but right on. We have West Speed and Bright on. Fuck only knows why. I mean, it's quite a big boy, like it's on. It's quite fat, but jeez, man, like, so bad. Our HP is insane, though. 90. Unlike Shell, there. So we'll be able to tank hits. And our defense is 75. However, the best, um, stat for any speedrun, as we always say, is, um, speed, predominantly, which is only 30. Uh, and, uh, you know, either attack or special, based on whether you're physical or not. We are a physical Pokemon in terms of our typing, normal. Uh, but our attack's only 55, which is not great at all. It's the same as like Tangela, for example. Um, no, it's worse than Cedra, Goldeen, but the Pokemon that's special. Uh, our special, interestingly, is 60. Our special is actually better than our attack, so I'll probably end up, I mean, it's not much better, so I'll probably end up running like two of each or three of one and one of another. Um, so we'll have a varied moveset at least. I mean, when you're running special, moves you do the general better coverage. Uh, but we'll see how we get on. I think a good time for Lickitung could well be good expectation is to beat sub two and a half hours. But if we do sub two hours we'd be very happy. We'd be delighted in fact with this run. However uh, yeah it's no it's not gonna threaten the top of the table at all. I don't think it'll really finish if it is much chance of finishing near the bottom. And uh, I said that's bad luck. Looking at Shell there last time, it did finish 18. Uh, it beat Tratini by about a minute. In game time, beat by 30 seconds. They were both level 54. There's so many parallels between these runs. Um, as you can see on here, Rival 5 will walk us 20 to 30 minutes for Tratini. I still remember that to this day. It was a Pikachu that came out in a new boom and I had to get to the level where I had sped it. And then I could one shot it or something. Um, also had a slow level rate. I've, I've started putting these on now for ones that are slow level up rates. So I haven't put them down a Gyarados and Articuno, but I just remember that. Um, anyway, I'm sure when it comes to actually like the fiery final episode where I'm comparing all the times. Uh, but yeah, they both beat at level 54. Both lost like 20 to 25 minutes. In Childer's case, it was Laurel We had a Diglett, which had sped us. Uh, a new Razor Leaf. Then an Executor, which I'll spell as a new Razor Leaf. The big clutch for Shell there, and it's probably the only thing that saved the position last, to be honest, because it was fucking awful, uh, is that we had Clutch Sing. We had Sing, but it defo hit more than 55% of the time. It was so clutch. As soon as you put the opponent to sleep, you can just set up X items. Um, but I also put on the Easy AI mostly, and we did, really. Uh, I think we had tough AI up until about Moon. And once we were through Moon, until... E4 really, the AI was easy, like all the gym leaders were pretty simple. They didn't have great Pokemon, so many baby Pokemon we're up against. Which both helped us and hurt us, because we were so level up rate, we were really under level going in 54. We had to go and get 5 levels, well 4, but then I put a rare candy on, um, to be able to get through Laurel and I had to wait a couple of times for um, Doug Trio to miss Razor Leaf, it's only 1 in 20. So that wasted a bit of time, and then we lost 10 minutes on the rival, just Choose to unlucky like Hyper Beam miss or Rival Sing wasn't really hitting as much at that point. So yeah, that's where Shelter based up. Like I said, for Lickitung, at minimum I want to get up two and a half hours. I'll be disappointed if I don't. Uh, like we see how the luck of the run goes, luck of the draw. 
still haven't gone for Rock Tunnel, for example. Uh, we can't obviously fit in Lick at all whole name, so we just call ourselves Lick. Rival. Was that that? Gengar? A few advantages this last one, though. Of course, the rival poke, but a rival is not going to get a bad poke on, they get cloister. But there's never really a problem as a rival to fit the cloister. We'll have another Lickitung. So let's go. <clears throat> Hopefully we start with a move where we can hit Ghost. That is the main concern right now. If we start off all normal, we cannot hit Ghost. Even if we start off a fight move, same. Um, and I might have to reload it. It's still not been in a situation like that. Um, but it would just reload. If it's the same as impossible, I have, to, I have to learn to struggle. It's still impossible. The struggle is actually... I say lane struggle, I'll have to waste all my PP and then struggle. Struggle is typeless from Gen 2 onwards only, so if I run into a ghost and I'm mandatory, like Brock has one, it's impossible. So we'd have to reload the save. Ooh, I mean, we can hit them, do we have dual pair? This is a good moveset, man. Body slam, thrash, sword stance, mainly. Lead with that. No, yeah, no, we'll dual pair. That's a good start move, set man. Like as long as medium fast level up group as well, and like Shell though, and Dratini. Yeah man, like oh you saw the importance of Sting last time. As a normal type, we may learn lovely kiss as well, which is seventy-five percent effort. I was listening to the moves that can put to sleep last run, I forgot about lovely kiss. The said hypnosis, sleep powder, spore, sing. But there's lovely kiss as well. Crash does more than body slam actually, I'm actually to search that. I'm not entirely sure, I'm not a massive fan of Thrash because it locks you in to it and then you get confused. Um, I feel like I may do a shade more. Yeah, the only problem is said though, we will get stab power boost from normal moves, I'm pretty sure. So, at the moment, drill pack is actually our best move. It'd be easy to test that, I think body slam 70 power. Um, dual pack's 80, so good luck. But obviously, dual pack will work properly for us because we're not flying type. And uh, that's good coverage, man. It covers our weakness to fighting straight away, which is the, the main important thing. It's the only thing we're weak to, of course. And as well, we can hit Ghost. And there's only three of them, thankfully. Guess they haunt again, Gar, but. There'll be plenty of other runs in the future. Anytime you run electric Pokemon. Ground Pokemon. Although most ground Pokemon's moves are fucking typeless to be fair. Uh, or fighting Pokemon, you know. Anything that has a type that's immune to it. Ghost immune to normal and fighting. Flying immune to ground. Um, ground's immune to electric. You know, any situation like that. I feel like there will be at least one run in this playlist, is what I'm saying, where we do have to reload. Not each five. But it's good that we're learning moves already. We are a fully evolved mom, so we do learn moves earlier. Smoke triple. We'll not settle till we find a drink. Hopefully we get Rappel from Moon as well. It's one thing Shell did it, fine. We got Max Rappel from Moon. Just push. That saves time. I like so far, but like, uh, a level 7, I think I'll, uh, see what the level 9 is. Okay, maybe not. I, I fucking pressed left. Didn't register. I left it late to turn left, but whatever, I'll just kill it. Sword sounds first, I think. Please don't confuse me, Pidgeot. It's pretty much the only way you can win. Fucking crit me, though. Typhus drill pack for Pidgeot, not for us. Get the stab boost from it. Nice. Kinda wasted a turn, sword stance in there, the two hit. Pidgeot anyway, I think. Someone like a nominate could wall me. There's a problem. Brock's got one. Or if the level 9 is one. Drink. Might be on in front of the guy. 
No, protein though. I didn't get any fucking drops the whole run last time in steroids. It's ideal for us, but on attack. Let's see what kind of uh, like jungle looking at that way. Yeah, attack's the same as special, but I've just boosted it. So, pretty much expected there. Uh, I'll just see what he's got. I might one shot it. This is a wild. Another wild. Are you just programmed to run into me there, Golem? What the fuck was that? Wow, is he lucky we had drill there? Holy shit, we didn't reload. We'll probably die here anyway. It's about to solar beam me. That was a crit. Oh, I can kill us. The potion up. I'm surprised it's a crit though. Fine. We had another crit though. We're slow as fuck. Oh shit. I did not expect that to kill. It special's really good, but mine's not bad at all. Let's go for a random null Pokemon. Alright, we'll go back and fight people. I have to fight one of these guys, I reckon. We can probably go min battles through Brock. After this, oh, aside from this guy. This guy's free Pokemon, so bad, bad. Nine tails, lots of speed, though. Much better Pokemon I could have run into there than Nine Tails. You know, from our perspective, Nine Tails is good. It'll take a few hits. I'm gonna set up Sword Sons first. Though. And that's what I didn't want to see. They might burn me as well. Oh, just crit me. Alright, let's fight this guy. Already out. Oh shit, yeah, go oh, on. Oh, mean to fight. Oh, fucking hell. Alright. Could go back and fight Rival 1 out, I guess. Yeah, let's try Body Slam in it. I might get the paralysis. No. Uh, I had chances as well, it was pissing about. Didn't use flamethrower at all. Just drill pack it from the off oh. So it's hard to tell. I think drill pack was doing a bit more than body sun. Yeah, definitely body sun should be doing more because of this stuff. I wish you'd fuck off. Golem, I want to find a wild to grind on. At least we get to level 9 and we'll be able to take out the Haunter. Yeah, let's go back and fight Rival. That's a bit annoying, it's probably cost me like 5 minutes so I have to backtrack and also. I'm very surprised, Solar Beam still cold me though. Our Haunter special is insane. So, it's his first Pokemon, I'll summon Pokemon 1. I should kill the rival like this one. Oh my god. Fuck's sake. I'm gonna die again. Jesus Christ, man. Is my special good? 15. And the status is just shit. I don't know, these are really good Pokemon to be fair. Could be here a bit of a time. I have to go find wilds elsewhere. Try to shop its high crit rate, not ideal. It's obviously better if we use physical. Oh, yeah, nice. so we got the uh, paralysis. There's two more Pokemon after this, so I'm gonna go for a sword stance. Oh my god, please don't burn me now. Nice. To be fair, other Pokemon might have to be me. Ponytail is a great example of it. Oh, poor Solo. Fire blast hits, right. Fuck off. You know, we'll take the death. We got, we did get, get a level up. Hello, it sends me up to Palace. Shit. No, I don't mind. Let's just kill some more wads. When it's a low level one. I want like level 4 or 5 to group up some abris. They don't give a great XP though, even.
We'll get to level 10, I think I'll take out Haunter. I'll probably be one shot of crit. But uh, that's the thing, I was getting lucky against Haunter with crit in the first place. I'm not gonna bother with the Dragonite with his own life. Yeah, it's really rare I have to like come and grind on wilds here. Maltres is a welcome sight though. Lots of XP. Nice. Thank fuck your medium fast level of proof like this one, so I can save. But uh, on the whole man, like having a good start, I think our moveset's really fucking useful. And sword sounds is big. Our HP is insane as well, like, obviously, the higher level I get, the better. I was like 35 before, I am getting like 3 HP each level, which is really good. I was literally getting like 1 <laughs> shelter. Alright, uh, can we do it now? Still in our speed here. Ooh, there's Thunderbolt as well, it's not good. Oh, fuck off, she's paralysis, she's a bitch. So it is one shot of a crit. It's just I'm not gonna get many crits. I'd rather it's solar beam now. Oh, that's still my one shot me, I'm gonna be close. I'm gonna be close to living. Yeah, it's just no point taking this fight, yeah. Fucking Haunter, it's such a good Pokemon. Arguably the single best Pokemon that's not fully evolved, Haunter. The Kadabra is close to it as well. Fucking Omanites and Golems in here, I can't even kill Wild. Try this guy again. Okay, our nine tails probably be two hit now. Ponies are still probably able to be there. Oh my god, it's still the legit. Ember, crit, fuck's sake. Ah, uh, it's unlucky, man. It was it was nice to hit used Ember. Again, though, I'll take the death. But again, and back to Pallet. Yeah, I should just fucking heal him. Viridian. Whatever, if I can get to level 12, I'll fight Haunter again. But... 1 in 256 body so I miss. Come on. Better it happening now, I guess. It's a shitty level 3. Say shit, Avery's such a good Pokemon. But, uh, it doesn't. And hold up well to physical attack, should we say. Yeah, this is probably the single longest time in getting through the forest of any run. So, not a great start in that regard. We need all the HP you can get here. Now, at least. On the plus side, we're going to be kind of over level for Brock. I'm normally fighting Brock about fucking level 10, 11. Or at least get into him and like see what he's got. But you see in straight away, like, one of the things that hurts Lickerton the most is speed. Now it's fair by a fucking ponies are. Nice paralysis though. Save as a hit. Should be able to kill ponies on now. More oh, versions, dangerous. Lot of speed as well. Its physical moves do not much. My defense is decent. Okay, right, let's go. Probably have to go heal for HP now though, anyway. Should I pick up another potion somewhere? No. So, an unfortunate forest, really. But, uh, I think we'll kill Hunter now. Yeah, we should definitely pick up after that. It's like I said, there's plenty of ways, bro. 
fucking wall, mate. I hope you didn't throw out a fucking Gengar based off that. Haunter's moveset was nasty though, to be fair as well. No, uh, it could have used fucking Lick on me or something. No, that's Thunderbolt and Solar Beam. Like, Solar Beam's not bad when you have speed stuff. But at the end of the day, like, I can't complain. I had fucking Drill Pack. I was about to, like, made a whole new file. Started it. I didn't have that. Although I would have had Bide, oh, potentially. I wonder if Bide, like... I mean, it didn't look like a tank view at some haunter anyway, but... What if Bide hits Ghost? I'm not entirely sure about that. Still don't have speed. Oh, I crit me. Fuck off. Yeah, I can obviously tank a few Thunderbolts. Doesn't matter, let's go. Another pure normal type. Look, Wick Wiggly's probably better than Wicked Swamp. Yeah, well, my god, though. It's like 15 minutes just getting to Pewter. That is probably the single slowest so far. Even can't be met, I'll probably run faster than that. Uh, but said now, from now on, I think we should be pretty speedy through this. Hopefully Brock gives me a good TM as well. That's not like Jump Kick. Oh, but definitely Drill Pack could stay the whole time. The whole run. I think I would get rid of... Ugh, well... Speaking of Carpy. This will be easy. Might as well set up Sword Sons. Bro. Even Carpy outsped me though. Oh my god. This thing is so slow. It's going to be one of the slowest folk on the game. It's good and bad that I won't... Oh god. I won't, um... Hit many crits. Nice. Probably only use, like, one sword stance to kill a uh, one-shot electro bugs. And just thank fuck it used a physical move on me. A Thunderbolt would have been dead. It is teaching Vice Grip, which is a normal move, but we don't get the stab power. Like four, like last run. I have to remember to buy one and stuff on. Must have find another run of four. Uh, we need five for the run. Escape ropes. Got time saves. Yeah, I'll probably end up getting rid of Body Slam and Frash. Uh, we've got to keep Sword Sons for the time being. Well, well, for a while longer, yeah. It is okay. Um. Yeah, lots of feed me. Yeah, that's gonna hurt. Not that bad, actually. I don't have good defense. I was over leveled on it. Nice, double edge. I'm gonna teach that. It does recoil damage, but it's one of the most powerful normal type moves. 100 base power. See the one shot slow up there. It just slowed my speed. We still have speed. The slow folks are literally the slowest folk on the game. Oh, nice. I didn't want to miss and get hit by two in a kinesis then. That fight could have been really frustrating because it would probably gone on to poison me. Kill myself now, anyway. Yeah. I need to heal from Mew. What does a fucking Mew comes out? Some pretty hard luck, some of the things you run into so far. But I don't know. Brock wasn't bad, at least. The elective was in our first. That would have been a rough fight. It's gonna slash me, I'm not gonna sword stance at first. Let's go shift the double edge. Oh my god, it's even worse. Or is it to be fair? Yeah, slightly. Oh. <sighs> oh. <coughs> 
See, the ball of the batch increases the Pegron's defense as well, so like one solid sun's in a batch boost, that change soon as twice over. Let me see the other. Yeah, uh, one shot. Nice. It worked out nicely. Yeah, the Bledge to Sandshrew as well. Ooh, one HP. I didn't expect to lose that much HP off Sandshrew. Look at that high HP. I guess it was full, eight, full health though. Yeah, so far, pretty much as expected for Lickitung, you know? Like... Not really a struggle, but not fast at all. Um, it should get better though. Now this has been pretty fucking slow so far, to be fair. And uh, that's right, we're not beating sub for two and a half hours. Not letting... Fucking my thing go, oh, maybe we could do sub two hours. I was quite hopeful when I saw the moveset. It is a good moveset. It's just a fucking speed, man. I'm running into so many fast things as well, like Kanga. Ponyta, Horns, and Mew. Primate as well. Fucking hell. I do end up getting pretty over level to and uh, pretty much from now. The only two tough fish potential fights in the whole first half of the game is uh, Misty and Rivals really. And it's pretty much free till Koga. Another Kangaskhan. Fuck off. Alright, it's a tough AI run so far though. I'm dead. The body slam it. Got two Pokemon, I might go for sword stunts first. No. Sword stunts double edge will kill it. The question is then, uh, Slash is the worst case scenario. The question is then, I'm a HP I have left. Yeah, I'm dead. I can't take one Slash. They need to dizzy punch me a few times, I think. Just go back and heal, I guess. Probably wait some more time to try and get through it now. Are there potions or no? No. I have to heal after every fucking fight right now, because the AI is just sick Pokemon. Really, really unlucky start to this run. Honestly, and another seed I could have got through like quick. At this point, with this moves set. Got better stats than like at least a third of the runs I've done so far. That's at least. I, don't know. I wonder if I got a bad lick or something. Maybe. Yeah, it should be fine now, something's a fresh. Could have crit me one time. <laughs> of course it did. Fuck off, game. Bullshit. Now we're sword sounds, body sound a drill pack should be able to kill this thing. Again though, it gives us another fucking beast that outspeeds me. Nice. Jesus Christ man. So getting good XP off these things. They all give good XP, they're all like fully evolved tanks. I fought Persian, Electables, Primate, Mew, fucking Nido Queen, oh, Jesus Christ. I don't think there's been a single run so far where I've fought as many incredible Pokemon. Wow. 25 minutes just to get some Moo. Not good, man. So, the Magikarp is Chigrifle, probably a HM bitch. Although, uh, yeah, actually, chat. It's like I may end up teaching strength. I don't get boost, stab boost, up the uh, noise, do I? I'm trying to teach Lickers Hunger. Do have decent special. Very body slam, which could have been clutch because, um, of course, I can paralyze stuff and then get two attacks on them. Because because I'm so slow, they have an extra clutch. Um, but I think I'd soon have this for the coverage because rock poke on, of course. Can't even run from Jolteon, It's too fast. Fucking hell, man. This is not good. 
Oh, it's the Zubat. I need to just kill some, and I'll level them. Alright, level 8 one I can. What level is that one in? It's level 10. Not bad, not good. One of the slowest Pokemon in the game. Particularly while I'm still relatively low level. And I run into one of the fastest Pokemon in the game in a while. It's another rapid Pokemon as well, Cypher. There's no way I'd have to beat this. I need to just get killed them. Yeah, I was right, it did outspeed me. Yeah, if ever there's a run that emphasizes the importance of speed in this, it is this run. I have to come down here as well because I still don't have a drink. Ven off again is also fast. We did our speed this one though. That would have been really close, trust me. That might even have been a speed tie. It's just an awakening. It's putting this in the end. Right, finally, something that can easy our run. I've got no potions as well, and like the trainers could be a fucking problem, because I'm always taking hits. I'm gonna weaken by these fucking shitty wires. Ah, oh, I wanted a repel. Still got no drink either. Man, yeah, I've got a bad feeling about this run. <laughs> Look the way this run's gone so far, it's probably gonna end up being the run where I do have to go drop to Or like, if I do find a drink, I'll be really late, I'd have to take extra fights, etc. I mean, I'm gonna have to fight this rocket. Ooh, Cybeam's a good move. Another beast? Can I run Dragonite? Fuck. I'm just gonna try and outrun this. Eventually. Yeah, I just. Had to take 40 damage. 30, 40 damage then. So I couldn't fucking outrun. I'm gonna faint in this. In Moon. I have to go through it again. I've not had this problem, really, with any other run. I was just had luck. Crap, I'm at a crit. My god. Bruh, what can I do here? I needed to miss Crab Hammer or something. I wanna get through this place first, but I'll have to heal after I've been in it. I wanna at least get this place done, though. Like, get through this rocket and check this. Then I don't have to go under the, through the stairs again. Live that. Oh great, poisoned as well. Fuck off. I'm not even gonna have the steps to get out of here now. Should use waterfall there, that's my bad. Let me get a crit. A rare crit from like a ton. Let's see first, on a drink. Yeah, this, this is a nightmare run for MG so far. It really is. Might as well kill Sun through. I'm on my way back. Oh, anyway. I'm feeling I've got too much money. I'll, I'll, I'll naturally feign from poisoning anyway. Even level 8 Venomoth. It was a speed tie, I was right. My god, man. I was 10 levels above it. it still outsped me. I feel like I've got a particularly slow, like, poor EV Lickitung as well. Uh, I'm gonna take this fight, because I might as well. Because um, I'm looking to faint anyway. I'll probably actually outspeed Bulbasaur. So yeah, we, we see if we can get extra XP. Yeah, I can do nothing against Lickitung though. Really. Yeah, against Poisa. So, oh, back we are. Cypher, do I? No, I didn't. At least Cypher's like really good XP. Oh, I can't though. Nice, sir. Uh, they give me three kills there. Stupid moves. I feel like I might save State Encounter for here. I'm gonna stop every now and again when I'm happy with my progress. 
Okay, I can't run Harmistar, I think. And then I'll just reload if we get an account. So I will not do this in other runs though. It actually makes the most sense, to be fair, to just do this because um, it saves time for a moon. However, I'm never going to do this for all. But for this run, I've already lost enough time. I've been faced with plenty of bullshit. So I'm going to do it. I'm on a new floor now. My house feet seeking nine levels above. I'm about a level twelve seeking though. I'm sure that's feet dugong as well. Yeah, nice. Yeah, we really need to find car boss. Maybe they're like the clutch thing to find in this room. Yeah, it's a boost speed. Can I get over our battle speed size, man? God, I'd be so hard to feed me. It's, it's happening, it's even like not just the damage you're taking, you have to heal more and more and shit. And I'll like burn through potions a lot more. It's the actual like animations I have to sit through. Or like extra text in this case. I feel like I'm not even that over leveled as well. I'm normally about level 20 from this too. Like, God knows how. We're definitely medium fast. Right, another protein. At least I'm boosting my attack. When I pretty much do, like, after I've taken me hit, I, I pretty much do one shot most stuff. Like, when I get my hands on them, fucking them off. I'll take no chance to put Fable. To oblige it off. Dig. Might as well sword something. Well, to be fair, I'll tease me. I could just do it again now. No, I'm a dumbass. Just got rid of it. No, I might be fine for that sword sensor, though. Let's see what's up next. Nah, yeah, I don't really matter. Fucking hell. Over half an hour, we're only just leaving the moon. Like I said, though, at least like X attacks when I'm putting them on will be good. Full heal. I should be able to make it early enough. Full heal if I'm not going to well. Let's look at this TM. Ooh, let's go. A physical move, that is good. Mm, what do I get rid of though? Drill packs? I need drill pack for fighting Pokemon. I could always like Psychic them later on, or Psybeam. Well, for Psybeam. I need Waterfall. I think we do go rid of Sword Sense now. There's no point setting up. I already like get outsped by most stuff, so it's just I'd be taking like two it. So I might as well like two shot stuff anyway. I'm starting to rethink this though. Like I feel like sub three hours might be good for like some place up there. Every kind of speed, eh? Vaporeon's a nightmare to run into as well. We're coming back to this gym. Nah, bro. I spoke to her, the person, like, after my save state, or before my save state. Hmm. So do stuff like this. Or miss. Nice crit. Nice. Alright, we got luck. I could have just hoped for the Miss Hydro Pump to go for it anyway. The Miss will probably kill me now. Both Pokemon will probably get at least a turn on me. My best move is Double Edge. Well. Goldeen. Seems fitting so far. This is a Water Gym. 
No, I'll we'll fight rival first. Fuck this. Taka can leave her and then Werner will return. I will outspeed. Goldine's not particularly fast, so it's not too worrisome. I think even a few more levels will probably outspeed it. Yeah, if only we had good speed, man. It would have been a good Pokemon and potentially a good one with this moveset. The Ledger Oxide Waterfall is good. And fuck we have Rockside for this, but got it in good time. Oh and Dual Pack we have as well also. Still didn't kill it. Gyarados is a bulky motherfucker to be fair. So it says more about Gyarados and Lickitung that one. We just take too many hits. Oh my god, this, this Pokemon's really bad. I mean, again though, I'm running into some fucking beasts. Gyarados and Magneton. Like, fuck's sake. He's wrong move there. It's my bad. Ah, oh, crit me. Typhus drill pack, we want to do that. Well, I'm pretty much dead now, anyway. Oh, miss Mega Kid. I don't even one shot with double edge. Oh my word. Come on, like this one. I'll do better than it. Maybe it's saving all the shit Pokemon to come out. Because at the moment, this is. Kind of getting close to. Uh, yeah, this is probably gonna be the record for like the easily the hardest AI, which is held by Caterpie, which is another fucking Pokemon near the bottom. Um, but at least Caterpie had fucking. better speed than this, even. Surprisingly. Nice mess, we do that. Oh my god. Oh, I flinched me, fuck off. Oh. Yeah, we'll take the death. We got a bit of XP at least. Uh, I feel like I'm a bit walled here. Fucking Prime Ape, yeah, another Pokemon with like really, really fucking top speed. <sighs> My gun sounds not even that fast. Could get to a level where it's with that and these fights, maybe. Oh, I did rock side there. I'm probably gonna heal up anyway. The wedge didn't kill it. Oh, and it can fire swim me. Oh my god. Alright, didn't fire swim again. Nice. As long as I'm speeds me and fire spin, they could just get me in a payment loop. Kind of suck. Gonna die to Misty, but let's see. Gotta speak Goldine now. Four levels above. I highly doubt it, but maybe. I'm five levels above, in fact. No, I still don't, but Sizzy Punch will do jack shit. Expected. No, uh, it allowed me to well, it didn't really matter to be fair. <laughs> Although it kinda did with Chansey, what about to play Chansey a thing? No, it speeds me. I still might kill it. No, bro. Again, I'll take the death though, I think. Because the XP of the... Uh... Goldine. Uh, um, get through this fight though. And Chansey's ideal. It'll give me monster XP. I shouldn't double edge it though. Um, because it does m fucking incredible HP. Even better than our, well. Much better than our HP even. Nice. Free win, pretty much. Uh, 
Yeah, the trick to beating Chansey is pretty much just hit it with a face of comic. It's probably had some. We've gone full special. Oblige again. Might as well put that on a PC if I want to teach her over it. So I only lost a bit of health then, but we, do, we literally do need to be full HP for this. Um, I'm kind of surprised the Sanctum Rolling Kick from Priming. Like, I probably, for the other Liquor Tongue, I probably need at least like 30 HP for that. It's the only thing I will have speed. Oh, then maybe a. Wrong move. Maybe I could have speed, um. Magneton now. Oh, I got crit second turn. So typical. Still out speed me. Honestly, it's not fast when I get on. Nice crit though. But now Prime April kill me. I have to take another death. It crit me, fuck off, it is fast. Uh Ice Beam was the best case scenario, even not. I wouldn't have crit kill me if I had to crit, I think. This is an awful run so far. But I've had awful luck. You know, Trevor, things are to speed me. Just run into fucking bulky pose. Oh my, great start. So many fully evolved. If I was to go down the decks, there'd be way more fully evolved than pre evolved. And that's like freakish. In terms of like the stuff I've seen. Nice. Who's your on shock, Garados now? Oh, it was a speed type, Magneton? Okay. Of course it was close. That's right. Blizzard, heavy it didn't freeze me. Let's go. Should win this fight now. Although the other like, some could sword son. That would be a problem. That's fine. A good crit, mate. Good. Even a crit would have been fine. Let's go. Yeah, I'm gonna be stupidly overleveled for like next portion of the game. I always say from this fight, it's kind of easy until Poga, so hopefully that proves to be the case. Um, but probably not for like a song, because we are just gonna take fat hits. Slowbro's really good defense, we expect it to as well. Of course, we have to beat it. One of the few things we will. Two dudes, another. Yeah, for, for the remaining people in this run, I'm gonna be like over 10 levels above them, so it should outspeed a fair amount of things here, at least. Of course, like, the pre-evolves coming out now, by the way, when they're all, like, level 14. Shit. But when I'm fighting Rival, he's got like probably the hardest fight we'll have for a while. He just fucking throws out some mad shit at me. All of them final stage evolution. Still don't have a drink as well, um, so we, we have to fight an optional guy up here. No, it's not even optional actually, it's just you can go either route. And I think the other, if I go another route, sorry, Persian, I'll speak. If I go another route, um, there's a guy with less Pokemon than the Hyper I'm going to have to fight. But I might have to go fighting optionals on the ship and around the million to look for a drink. I can't have access to the mart early. Well, Torb may well have speed here. Yeah, even 12 levels below. Oh my god, it was this drill pack. It's because got a crit there. It might not matter to be fair. 
fuck's sake. One in ten to Mr. Oxide, fucking miss it. I'm gonna lose my fucking rag in this run already. I'm not even at like E4. That EV damage cost me. Balto will probably kill me off. Yeah, Miss Thunder. Oh, yeah, the crit did not. Yeah, let's go and heal. I can never remember on this gen which, which one's which. Like, <coughs> I think Hornjo works only if you're over above their level. Um, but it might be if you're faster than them, so you might be able to hit me with that. Obviously, it's OHK. Bro, he's giving me a nugget. I wonder if, like, you take deaths on him, where he just keeps giving you nuggets. It's not like an endless cash farm. Maybe. Yeah, fuck this waterfall. No chance of missing wall. Well, it's one in two fifty-six to miss. As opposed to one in ten. I wasn't entirely sure I bought for the one shot, but also remember now, these fucking special stats. But it's supposed to be better. Um, but I did have proteins. So yeah, we're gonna fight this guy here. No, I forgot. Fucking drill pack wasn't there anymore. The first. Carlos is perfect. Still not really mad I'm so slow, but they did boost my speed a bit. To 33. The heady height to 33 speed. Um but yeah, fortunately still no drink. So it's, it's getting a bit nerve rocking now. Um I may well have to go for rock tunnel. No no yeah, I'll just bury this run. It's already an awful start. Thank the Lord, we did get water for us. The shit like Onyx. My moves, that's so good as well. It's the thing, like... Like I said, I'm, I'm one-shotting the vast majority of stuff. These are nasty moves, like Drill Pack, Rock Slide, are two of the moves I'd want on any Pokemon, if I was on, like, physical side. Um, Waterfall's really good, Double Edge is really powerful. It's just, uh, it's just the damage I take through speed. It's fine for this route, because like I said, I'm so over leveled now. Um, but pretty soon... Look at this! 16 levels above. Rapidash still spared me. It's, our speed's so bad, man. God, that has me really worried for Slowpoke run. Slowpoke speed's like half hour. It's actually... Oh, shit. Is it Chance he has awful speed as well? Fucking burned as well, so that half me attack. Yeah, so I'm not one shot me. Sure, my bad, because I do have so much health for this person. Drop back is still one shot, that was wrong. Oh, it's not ideal for Mock though, I'll have to wall for it. It's a pretty special side. Yeah, Mock has pretty high defense. It's pretty high special as well, to be honest. It's just Good job on server level. I'm not too sure on this gen actually, because decent special even. Uh, I know it is more on future ones. It's mainly special defense, you know, when the, when the split happens. Escape over shot. I still need to buy an extra one. I would have done it like. Pretty much soon, like when I'm going through um, Saffron, but of course I don't have a drink yet. So I have to go in the underground tunnel. Well, we may find a drink there. There's gonna be two head nightmares under there. Did I check this one? I think I did. 
Yeah, so. I feel like I really need to land Lovely Cats. Put stuff to sleep. Or oh, Glare. I might end up learning Glare. I may even teach it just to outspeed it. I don't know, to be fair. In terms of time, it's not ideal. Closest is bad Pokemon to run into. Especially when I'm missing. At least I have Rock Slide. Yeah, that's too bad. Probably still has the highest defense start in the game, of course. Yeah, level 30, Living Cerulean. I don't think I've ever been this time. Seems a level. I've not been far off it. It's pretty high level. Minimize, I'm gonna end up selling. By the way, it could be another option. Save me taking hits. Take the Arbok. I just have to buy XP early, I guess. Should buy a lot of them. Still no drink. Fuck, man. I think this is comfortably gonna end up being the slowest of all that fully evolved Pokemon. Particularly if I get frozen now. Comfortably probably gonna be the slowest of all the fully evolved Pokemon. Uh, look at something. So far, anyway. I say fully evolved, obviously, it doesn't. I'm talking like final stage Pokemon. It's not like Ditto, could do really badly as well, though. Shut like that. It has potential as well, look at something. Could still salvage a good time. It's just, um, yeah, we'd need time to put XP on and a lot of fights. Oh, great. To be fair, I had a full heal, I think. Even one shot it. So before we go on a ship, because we can look for stuff on a ship, um, that's kind of one of the last places we can look. I guess we can go through Diggard's Cave as well once we get caught. Um, we can cut through the, here, we have to fight a guy to check one of the items, but another one we can just pick up for free. Thankfully that was a mana we could run away from. Still don't have repels. Car boss again, let's go. I feel like that helps, guys. Base stats still so awful. Probably didn't matter too much. But I've literally increased my speed, stat by 2. Oh, nice. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna take a hit here. Go for Whirlpool. I can't afford Rock Slide to miss here. And another one. Same team as the guy in the forest. <gasps> Fucking let's go. Oh my god. Random- oh, I'm getting rid of the ledge, I think. The recoil damage, fuck that. Random fucking grass move? It wasn't even a lovely kiss, we get sleep powder. After last run, with how clutch Sing was for Shelda. Nice, man. Uh, rare candy. Still not a drink. Which is what we want. I never even healed, did I? Fuck. See, normally I don't heal in Vermillion, because I do the little um, escape rope trick, because I've already been salad on more often than not. By here, and another escape rope from Digger's Cave back there, but of course I've not unlocked Celadon yet, so. Oh, 
heal, heal, heal. I don't know what Riot was going on anyway, he had a really good team last time. I don't have exciting yet to even make use. I have an X special. Good sell. Put something to sleep. But anyway, first things first, we have to look for a drink. Next best place to go is start this way. We have to fight extra people here. Let's see for it's got that for people. This might be the run. I have to go through our tunnel. I have to go blind as well. You can kind of see what you're doing. I'm pretty sure I'm half decent at getting through our tunnel in the dark. I don't think Mike can do it, so like it's much worse for him if this happens in the run. Uh, it'll like fucking go catch and shit. Oh, it was just TM. Yeah, maybe it's where. Not really. <laughs> just moving. I mean, I can sell it for money. And if you fight these two guys, there is something hidden in the pil pillow here, which is pretty much the last check, I think. And uh, there was a drink here, one run. But yeah, we, we need it to be. Again. Honestly, it adds so much time. It's probably more than 10 minutes it adds. What's more, we don't have a fucking. Um, Poker doll even, so we, when we come out on Lavender, if we go for Rock Summit, we kind of go straight to Tower and kind of pop out that. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I don't think there's any more items on the ship. I don't think there's anything top deck, like entrance deck, except a uh, TM, which is normally body slam. It's in that room right below me there. Um, other items. This is just a deck itself, like out on the ship. Other items in any of these rooms? I don't know. Fight two dudes though. In fact, I might have been able to avoid these guys. If I went all the way round that, I might have been able to avoid him. But whatever. But there we go for Rock Tunnel. I'll be interested to see what kind of route to do here. Um, the world switch up. I have to fight this guy. I knew we did. Super repel. Fuck no. It's got that for the tunnel. I'll buy repels if I have to go rock tunnel. I'm gonna buy him. I'm right in here though. Although, it's actually, I think this is a TM. Whatever, where we start this fight, we'll finish it. I don't even think it's save save before though. I don't know whether like, the route from Cerulean to Rock Tunnel has any items there or hidden items. I think there's one that I can think of, and I'm pretty sure that's a TM. Oh, that was an item. It's just a fucking Ultra Ball though. Yeah, that's it. Shit. We have to go for our tunnel, I think. God damn it. I'll kind of time it. But yeah, the base guard took 50 minutes this run, and this is already a pretty slow run so far. A Pokemon that we are slow in. At least, though, we are going to end up. Again, we're, we'll end up over level, but like really over level. This could be the Pokemon that beats C4 at the highest level. Um, like the tongue.
I'm gonna put the other leopards on to sleep, just to be safe. Nice, GG. There's no overhead items, I can't think of. Oh, really. um. Damn, son. Uh. Me along on this one, boys. <laughs> Not gonna lie. It kind of jumps. Like, even if I was saying, like, oh, I'll be over leveled, I'm just thinking, like, oh my god, making me six of that as well. I had no room for cult. So I've just been picking up extra shit. Let's just fucking go back. I almost always check it and teach it when I'm in the room. I didn't this occasion and it's a time when we don't get it. Yeah, like it, it jumps so high from like Erica to Koga that while I will be like over leveled for a bit. Um, it doesn't really save too much time, I know, it doesn't matter too much. Let's go for the actual, like, run. Probably get a really fucking bad surge stream as well, it's been going. Anything that could go wrong in this one seems to have gone wrong. But I was due a oh, save and a seed where I had to go for rock tunnel. A well overdue one, I think. I don't I mean I don't know, we'll see at the end of the game. Like me and Mike have done races where we probably went about one in Ten races we had to go through our tunnel. Um, let's look at the start. But since then we've learned more and more hidden items. Oh, well, this would have been fast. Yeah. Last monetized playlist. Uh, one run out of the fifteen. I had to go through our tunnel. Um, this is twenty second. However, oh god, this kind of bored me. But it's a see. Waterfall is still fuck it up pretty quickly. I think. On the plus side, yeah, I keep forgetting, we do have, we do have sleep powder, which is fucking broken. And we, we, oh my god, what a team. We didn't need too many, uh... It woke up straight up again, fuck's sake. No, let's just get rid of it. It didn't do much to me. Bit psychic. Headbot can flinch, but most things are to beat me anyway, so there's no real point to you know. I quite like the coverage we've got at the moment anyway, it's decent. So I have to cut for back through here. Yeah, it was 1 in 15 of Monotype Series 2, but I feel like it was about halfway through Monotype Series 2 anyway. Um, where I basically have, did discover then the final, where, you know, a few extra hidden items. And now I'm pretty confident I know where every hidden item is in this game, and uh, I've been getting them every run. So, this playlist probably is the best measure of kind of. Didn't even get the fight voucher, my god, I'm fucking right off it. I spoke to him, I just must not have room. Fuck, again? Definitely made mistakes in this run. Just been a horrendous run to go, really. I've made mistakes, but more than anything, our speed start. And the lack of, um, drink has hurt it. You could 
definitely want the bike. Normally I would have been like, oh whatever, I'll just go back for it later. But um we're going through Rock Tunnel, so obviously I want it. To be fair, actually. I did say, there's still possible salvation. I'm gonna buy some repels here. I'm not gonna get the thing yet. Oh, it's time to sell stuff by the way. Make room. Okay, we're gonna cut through Diggert's cave. There's two items south of it. Maybe. It's probably worth it if there's a drink there. Maybe we'll get lucky. I think the run I went through Rock Tunnel with the uh, Bottle 3, I never actually did this. I'm level 34 as well, so we're all power through everything in here. Use the super, just to get rid of it, I'll be slot. Probably see me all the way out anyway. And then I'll, uh... I didn't actually buy repels after... Fucking hell, yeah. I really got switched off, nice run, guys. So we have to travel back through. We run into a load of shit. Excuse me. Escape rope. I didn't need an extra one. Matalita. Fuck. Is there a final item here? No. God damn, man. I don't know if there's any hidden items in that little stretch. I don't think so. That's a little bit nice, a little. It's particularly annoying because like, I can only buy repels. It just fucks with me whole route doing this. Like my whole strats, my plan, like what I buy and when and how many. Like ordinarily I'd go straight to Saffron and buy match repels. I'm gonna have to buy individual repels here to get through Rock Tunnel. Um, there's quite a few obligatory battles in Rock Tunnel and the fact it's dark anyway, I might even Accidentally run into stuff. Now I'm fucking frozen. I'm fair full heal. I do just want to kill Jinx for a bit of XP though. Every bit of level I can get. The better. Mainly for my speed. Yeah, I knew it. I knew I'd run into loads of shit. I can even outrun Jinx. I don't think we can outrun anything above a level 18 Jinx. I can't remember yet. They've got the bar bar channel though. Yeah, back we go. To be fair, if that had have been a drink through Digger Cave, I'd have been fucking buzzing that I didn't actually the bike voucher, because I came straight here, of course. Like a fucking idiot. Up. And then uh, we'll go on in. Yeah, I'm, I'm not sure if, uh, if there are any items in the way here that are actually like pickups. Uh, like I said, there's definitely a TM. Um, but it's looking increasingly like we do have to go for the tunnel. You can still get Blood Run out of it. I think Portal 3. Portal 3 is the one who has to go for Rock Tunnel, the only one in um, Monotype, the bug type. Uh, and it. Uh, Still end up finishing like seven or eight or something. Um, well, this spot is fun. And, like Zungado already started really slowly. Like I often say, oh, if you get like top of the tower inside like an hour is a good time. Like fucking hell, we're not even close. I would like to pick up the poker doll. Once I'm in Rock Tunnel, if I get a drink or something, I might as well fucking carry on for Rock Tunnel. Um, what I'd want to pick up there is a Poké Doll, so I can just go and do the tower straight away while I'm in Lavender Town. Don't have to roll back. Right, search this. Is it TM? Maybe it'll like Fox TM. <laughs> oh, maybe not. I can teleport. Yeah, 
yeah, the left is like... There's an item through this way, it might be. So I'll fight this guy. I'm already like, way behind on time, where it should be, so... What's an extra fight? Okay. There was an extra item, is there? I need my token now. He's gonna put down here. Uh, yeah, that's it. Uh, there's one last place, actually, that could be a drink. Well, literally one last place. It's on a tree, not to add rock tunnel. So, it's all lie, yeah. Uh, there are two items on this route you can pick up, but that's quite good. 22nd run. Would I say it's about 1 in 25, maybe? Not going through. Yeah, having to go through at all. Yeah, I think so. Considering all these items. Uh, it's almost like par expected now. There's only hidden items there. Oh my god, oh my god that guy didn't stop me. Or this woman. Right here. Or do I like break this first? There's our drink. Oh my god. We were saved at the very end. I mean, it's still wasted a lot of time, man. Because I got drink literally as late as I possibly could have done. Last second drink. But at least I don't have to go through the fucking tunnel. Maybe now we could salvage something out of this run. Still lost a fuck ton of time though, man. So, um. I'm gonna skip Mark TMs. I think the moveset's already pretty fucking sound. I know, I bought all these repels as well. I don't even need them now. Find the Maxis. I've done a PC, I think. Save you for a rainy day. It's something I've really struggled with. Um, but for the most part, we should be chill. We've got Drill Pack. Obviously, I'm not going to get rid of that because there's no weakness. Now, Drill Pack's going to stay for the whole run. Um, yeah, I'm not even going to look at the TM. It's, uh... I need a Poké Doll, though. Uh, but I'm gonna buy X speeds for sure. Probably get rid of Wake, I'm gonna go to Fleet Tomb. Minimize can go. Mimic can go. That book can go. And Teleport can go. They're all trash except the last one, which is Fireball. Four Ultra Balls I picked up in this run. Holy shit. Jesus Christ, man. You know what, honestly, like, this sheer amount of items you can pick up, a lot of them I've just learned recently. I think it's like 150 you have to go through a tunnel, in reality. Now I've seen that, I picked up four trash items there alone in the Ultra Ball. Uh, I think that's all we pick up for now. We may end up having to come back for X items in certain fights, at, like walls or something. Um, I think to the fact I'm level 36 now as well, I might do Erica while I'm here, actually. Uh, just one last thing, I do want to put this TM. Jump kick, nice. Okay, my teacher. Hmm. Don't know, man, actually. I've got Waterfall to do with Rock Ground, I mean obviously Jump Kick would do that, but it's still better to do the Special Start, and the Special Start is still a better one. 
Oh, it's a cloak. I think it's the, um, it might bounce out now. The attack was higher before. It still is. I put proteins on and stuff. Yeah, normally when I get to here, because I haven't gone through like all that like, shit, I'm only about level 31 too. So I'm not particularly over level 30, okay, so I'll do the tower first and then come back. And um, yeah, got just beat enough. We should be fine to do that. Didn't even kill a nidder on. Okay now. We'll call heal. So the plan is, put a first Pokemon to sleep, use an XP, then just sweep open. The Jota to will odd speed me, so I'll have to take a hit at least. Please don't confuse me, I'll be the worst case for him. Well, freezing now. One in four, sleep out as fuck up. Of course, the first one fuck up. You sleep out accuracy is not great too far. I think three times I've gone for it, and twice it's failed on the first time. Ooh, vanilla tangela. Bro, what's sleep out of doing? It's well work. Oh, I won't trust that anyway. I just knew I had good defense. Nice. There's the cheese. <laughs> I mean, in future, I'll just be putting the first Pokemon asleep and then probably use next items and stuff. Um, but of course, I've only got speeds for now to relieve it. I can get fly now as well. Cool. I'm not gonna give any TM uh, HM to um, Lick Tongue, except perhaps Surf. I think Surf is more powerful than Waterfall. Drill pack's been the clutch move so far. A sleep powder will take that title, most likely. Um, should we try and risk getting through these two fights and just using the heal rather than healing Lavender? To be fair, after walking to the center, I might as well fucking just done it though. I'm saying, like, there's so many things I've run into. Drill packs, super effective games. Just absolutely breeze through. Nice, GG boys. Not bad. I was stupidly over level though. Level 37, my god. Yeah, I'll probably be E4, like level 56 or 7. So, uh, maybe not the record. I think the record highest level it's taken so far was, um, Caterpie or Metapod. It'd be one of them. About, I think it was level 56. But for sure I'm like 3 or 4 levels higher than I normally would be at this point. Oh no. 
네. 2 extra. And I was one shot at one point. Yeah, like more than, as I say, like seeing the importance of getting a drink early and kind of avoiding nothing to go around the about and fight extra people, etc. I think this run, I mentioned it before, I think, above everything, it just shows the importance of speed. Um, we've got a really good move set. We have done since pretty much the start. Um, oh, thank you. That on. I'll be sleep out honestly, but for now I'll hold off on it in case we find Hyper Beam or something. Uh, yeah, like, I mean, this one, yeah, it just shows the importance of speed. We've got a good moves, uh, a Pokemon that stats aren't insane, but they're not bad. It's, it's pretty well rounded. It is like a final stage evolution. You know, it's, it's only one stage, of course, at least in this gen. Um, but still, it's, it's good. Just fucking take an extra hit. These bits are fine. We even paid you not to beat me there though. No, Joel Peck would have killed it actually. But it doesn't matter. We should still get through this one. Alakazam will obviously have to be, I mean, it could hit him, it could psychic or something. Or oh, crit razor leave. Uh, but obviously now I one shot it. With ease. Oh my god, we're landing hyper beam as well, let's go. Oh, what do we get rid of there? What if I see clutch, man? I need a special move. Maybe rock side. It's good into fire, but I've got waterfall for that. Flying to be fair, but... Breach strength and oh my god. Now there's fucking one guy left. Save state. Oh it takes us something to to beat me now though. I have to reload, just put a potion on. He's got four Pokemon. Let's take no chances there. No, oh, fuck it. I was gonna just put an X Speed on, but as soon as you save me X Speed, I guess. Use, I'll use my Max Token, I'll get rid of that, I'll be out in the slot. And we should be chill. This time would have killed me anyway. Yeah. Well, our oh, great move, Hyper Beam. Let's try it out first to first useless. <laughs> Hope you're not assigned to things at all. Kind of surprised I'll spread Dragon out there. So, about an hour 25 in. Not too tragic, but uh, we're finally on our way to Koga, uh, where the run does get tougher. 
I think now it's time to buy X items. We'll go for the sleep powder sweeps. And now, to be fair, the second half of the game, I think it should be able to sweep through pretty effectively. Just because of sleep powder, it's so clutch. Like we saw that with Shelda. The problem with Shelda was so many times the first Pokemon I'll have potential to one shot me. But it's very rare something's going to do that against Lickitung. It's defense, it's HP, it's just too good. Um, so, as long as Sleep Powder doesn't fuck up too much, we should be fine. And um, we're not going to hit many crits, full stop, because our speed's awful. And that actually really helps us now, because um, ordinarily that would fuck up the X items. So, I already got the specials. So, one of them. And the speeds as well. Time to go to the bag soon, I think. Yeah, it goes to the shop and uh, deposit stuff in the bag. Alright, let's go. This could be a really weird one, you know, honest to god. It could end up being a run. <laughs> We saw an example similar to this, where there was one of a run, I think, I can't remember now, where the second half of the run, I think it was Mara, was pretty much as fast as the first half of the run. Um, but then you have stuff like Gengar and Alkazama now, where the second half is as fast as the first. But it's more because, the thing more about that is that, them Pokemon is, that they were just good throughout, they just dominated the game from start to finish. So, I don't think that's as notable. Um, but like if something legit could do the second half of the game faster than the first. Which is fucking weird, but yeah, it's taken about an hour and a half to get to Poga. Um, pretty much at halfway point now in terms of the story. So let's see, let's see how long it takes us. We can do this from here now, in about an hour I'll be happy. Can't beat that sub 2 and all. So look at random trainers. I'm not gonna do setups for a deck like mine. And I'll probably take damage off them. I guess Scar see. He's a juggler anyway, so if I put something to sleep, you'll probably just switch it out. Shelter's not ideal. The high defense. Yeah, but see, just withdraws. So weird. So I'll have a 40 ready. Usually I can have a 40 when I'm like a Cinnabar. Here's a Lickitung. Fine. Are we gonna crit? It'll kill itself now. <laughs> Alright, maybe not. Definitely have stopped getting such a run of like insane Pokemon coming out. Seems appropriate as Nidoran comes on screen. Um, it has balanced out a bit more, which again is I think this could be one of the very few runs, if not the only one, where the first half of the game is tougher. No, oh, it's fun for me. No, we just wait for this to end. I don't have to feed it, so it's no real problem. It's be 14 fun. Five tank oh, fuck's sake. Come on. It's a time waste. Don't really matter. I'll fight that up. So let's go. What have you got there, go? Like I said, I don't much could one shot me. Victory Oak could put me to sleep. Concern. Put one X speed and one X attack on, I should do, honestly. And I uh, to be fair, there, there could be things come out uh, even one X speed or one X speed thing. Like I said, I could be tank hits up a lot. There we go, as prime example, fear of still out to me, two levels lower, with an X speed on. Drop X cycles for it. 
Didn't even work through Mirror Move. Interesting. Nice. Didn't even need an X Speed to outspeed Parasect. In the end, that X Speed was pointless actually, so I didn't outspeed Fear or Orph. <laughs> but whatever. Let's chill. Uh... Do I even need his TM? Honestly, I don't think so. I'm really happy with my moveset. It's time to make room via this thing. And we got two rare candy. Yeah, we'll definitely end up like the highest level with beating E4 out right here. Honestly, I'll probably end up about their level when I'm going in. Well, at least like Laura Lee's Pokemon. Um, oh, I was saving people up for Hyper as well. We got one. Let's go. I completely forgot I had that. As well, taking all the extra fights, guys. I feel like we all have a lot of money for this run compared to most. Which is completely like chalk and cheese for the last run, Shelter, for a while at least, for us. Rambling about, fuck all. Fair wedge. These are all good sell items. Oh no, I'll probably keep soda pop through there as well. So what have we got? Guillotine. Thunderbolt. Thunderbolt will definitely keep. Thunderbolt is a very, very good move in this game. There's so many fucking water Pokemon, etc. Why don't I just toss him for that? I still don't make it out. Cancel that. I should have deposited me ethers and shit. You know, I probably don't need a max elixir. I don't like overkill on ethers. But that's nice to. to <laughs> lick is lick. Uh, <laughs> lick is someone can't actually learn lick. In this game, guys, just Gen 1 being Gen 1. I don't know. In fact, I don't think you can in any of the games. It's so ridiculous. But it seems fitting that it's probably the first time we've got Lick as a TM and it's in Lick as Hungrown. Our character is literally called Lick. So I'll come back to Strength um, in time. There'll be a time when we escape rope from Mansion and Cinnabar. We'll get this back to future, like right next to it. And I'll just pick it up then. Well, yeah, let's deposit these. I don't know what 29 was. It was some use, so that was Fire Blast, I think. Uh, Guillotine and Lick, I can sell. Oh, I should have deposited Sir. In fact, I don't know if it's Hulk here. Um, uh, do I switch it to like a song then? I don't think so, no. Waterfall then? Maybe then, I don't know. But then I couldn't teach you, yeah, I don't think I'm going to. Waterfall's not that much worse than Surf. I think Waterfall's like 80 power, Surf's like 95. Um, but I want to leave that slot at the bottom, that special slot, free. And then going into E4, I'm probably going to teach moves 
and alternate between them based on what I'm up against. But like, we'll flip from Thunderbolt to Fire Blast or something. So there's bound to be like one thing at least on each team that's kind of a problem before. There always, there always is. Well, I've got a jump here. I think I'll put that in there. PC. Oh, that, maybe that was with the TM29? Yeah. Oh, Alright, let's go. Probably should be fine. We just need to sleep harder, set off, and yeah. Ooh, there's no last Q now, though. Uh, I'll take two minutes from this. He's only going to score bash anyway. Like, chill. Enough, but I wasn't sure whether Hyper would one shot it or one attack. That was a little bit. Easy team, man. Yeah, all the strong Pokemon just come out at the start of the game. <laughs> what a weird run this has been. Like, it, this could end up being like one of the single fastest second half of the game by any Pokemon, honest to god, if I like split it that way. Like, that's who did the fastest post Koga. Um, and, like, yeah, like, this one was definitely a contender early. Still got to do it, but just for that moveset. And, uh, most notably, Sleep Harder. It's very possible. It's pretty much just been smooth since it's got fucking green. It's a shame, it took so long. Probably shouldn't have used an last draw pack there. Should have waterfalled into Hyper Beam and so on. So I'll just put us to sleep. Leonix is fine. Oh, it's fucking guards back. It worked for once. <laughs> Fair play, G1. Mm. Oh, miss. I hope we die through PP here. Yeah. Two off for one. I just need to put the Onyx to sleep to have an next speed. Oh, that should be fine. I kind of don't like using X items on this Geo any fight. Any Geo Anna goes, he's always a fucking piss when he uses Guard's Vex. For the most part, it actually does hurt him now. Oh, no, you can use items. Oh, the, well, opposition Pokemon at least can use X items while they're doing the ground. It's such cheese, such bullshit. It does the guard spec back the tentacle as well, is it the whole team? Oh no, it's just a single poke, okay, nice. I could have done this to a uh, tentacle last time. Use it on that below though. Don't know if that crit would have mind. Yeah, I'll just keep on them to sleep. Did it toxic me? Yeah, I feel like this is doing more and more shit. Yeah, should full heal. Sleep out is OP, man. It's so broken. <laughs> Only one in four to fuck off. Oh god, so, it's gonna take a while to kill a fucking waterfall. Not even that long, 
Paris is so shit. Paris is definitely like, going to be one of the worst Pokemon to run in this whole thing. Paris is a contender to finish bomb. There's about five of them. Magikarp, obviously, Tapi at the moment, Weedle. So, the escape rope actually sends you up here now. I might as well get strength now then while I'm at it. Um, works out nicely anyway, because I did forget to deposit this, uh, or as I said, even teach it actually. Let's do that. I can deposit the card key. Um, I get back to Saffron. I go for Sabrina now. Yeah, there's still two and a half hours still on. Lickitung's moveset, showing it's class now. The sleep powder, particularly. I think this one was just basically showing what Lickitung could do if it was fast. It is a good Pokemon aside from its speed. It's just a really, like, is the most important start, man. Alright, what have we got, Serena? Grind the first off. I'll have to beat that anyway. Ten, I think. Yeah. Well, it's... Got to sleep, in this case. Got a special one as well. Easy man, easy clap, nice. GG. Yeah, like, why did this run speed up out of nowhere, man? I'm so staggered with, like, how mad hard for us the first half of the run was. The bits where you normally you just fucking coast on. It looked like I was gonna finish, like, dead last full stop at one point. That's not gonna happen now, sure. So I've got like another two hours to go. But uh, legit, like, it was looking rough. I was getting out of bed by so many shit, but the sleep part is changing. What's more, because I'm over leveled, I will work out for Revkin, the ground floor. There's level 42s in here, but more often than not, you can run into occasionally. Now, obviously, for our speed, wilds was all, were always a fucking concern, because. We saw a moon, you know, I can't run from them, so I can put damage from their asses. How many fucking Pokedells have I picked up after I went to buy one? Because I could have just fucking done the Pokemon title pet. For fuck's sake. <laughs> this is such luck. Alright, what were these TM? We'll pick up two. The Haze and Rock Pro. Both of them try. Yeah, I did have two spare escape ropes in the end. This would normally be the last one of you. Log of them in a bit. <sighs> but uh, yeah, all of a sudden, like, we could still do sub two hours. Two, two and a half hours. Not sub two hours. I mean, that would maybe be possible. Fucking hell, I'd have to, like, every fight would have to be perfect. For me. With sleep power to boost, it's possible. But that was it. Uh, looking at maybe 210, 215 right now. Which is a hell of a save. I 
feel like if we're on a Mewtwo and start with like a sleep out or a spore or something, it's just game over on. <laughs> A lot of grass Pokemon could be really, could produce really good times if they saw one of them. Like the Venusaur, looking at Executor. Well, Executor's speed's also a real problem. Uh, Primeape will fucking hurt me now though, it does have potential to one shot me. But, Blaine likes doing shit like that. It's put a fucking super potion on something that's already like full out. I've just got an XP, not even got X attacks or anything, but we should be fine. It's like if they keep coming out in the week to go back. It's a hyper kill you and one. Oh god. Oh, and it booms. For fuck's sake, I might tank it. We're beating the fence, but. I mean, to be fair. Oh, thank god. Thank god, Jigglypuff's. Piss this thing around here. Let's go. Yeah, the fucking move on me then. Do have to recharge. Yeah, to be fair, this is a good measure of just how good Lickitung's HP and defense is. Um, more its HP actually, because defense isn't like insane. It's, it's good, like. Dragonite is the single most powerful physical Pokemon in the game. It's, it's the highest attack stat in the game, Dragonite. And it used self destruct. Just 200 base power. And we still fucking tank it, let's go. I was very surprised we tanked that. Like, that was an impressive one. That's one of the most like, impressive in-fight exchanges in the whole fucking series though. Yeah, thank god it was an explosion. <laughs> Would've killed me. It's super empty bar. A novel I've seen quite a few of you. So Giovanni could be a problem if he guards facts and shit. Uh, let's see. This guy for even fucking rats are out speed now. I'm gonna run a risk of keeping Page around. <coughs> it's probably to it. Just take one. Shouldn't be a problem, there we go. Ha, <laughs> nice. Oh my god, a couple of me to sleep now. <laughs> what a sable move. Alright, yeah, chill. Yeah, let's put one of each on, except defend. I don't even really need X defend massively. It's more like if I can't. If something's one shot me from the off. Then special. Still, like I said, though, actually, there could still be stuff that outspeeds me. Um, even with my one X speed on. Surprised you live for it. So we'll take a fair few hits. There's monster defense. Delta back all you want, bro. Just feel like that. 
Yeah, I'll all fall for the demon bomb, actually. It's special so bad. Nice GG! Easy again, guys. Sleep powder just makes everything simple. Um, I think we have room for this TM. Not a gantle. That's the view as well. We've got such good TM options in the uh, PC. Mantle Rival, Nonsense sort of Fight, is Licker Tongue for the first time in quite a while, will be a higher level than mine though. Um, but I should still probably be able to beat it with badge boost. I mean, let's face it, I'm probably gonna put fucking X speed on the start anyway, to be fair. Again, I'll probably just do one of each. Alright, it should be enough. You know, in the end, I'm not even that over leveled all of a sudden because I did just breeze for the second half of the game. Well, it's a sun over, but I know if sleep powder, it's pretty much just free now. It's a case of how fast it can go. Now I guess the E4. I will need to, or oh, at least of each X item. Just like you can see, it's still not quite one shot, I think. Not have fun anyway. Oh, let's go for the hyper. Another one shot. Oh, it doesn't shit. Let's take a bit of punishment anyway. Still, boys, GG. Nice. So, who'd have guessed, guys? An hour 25 in, about half an hour ago, we were in the fucking Pokemon Tower thing. And uh, we're on the way to E4 all of a sudden. Oh, well, yeah, what a weird run this is. It's. Looking like it's not just like, oh, the second half of the game could be as fast as the first half of the game. The second half of the game is much faster than the first half of the game, yeah. Still stuff to do. Uh, when I get to start Indigo, I'll have to go and uh, I will have to go back to Sauron. And Cinnabar. Find myself some Hyper Potions and top of my episodes again. Um, I pretty much have enough X specials already, I think. Just do the two. Like I said, X defense don't matter so much. They really do, honestly. I'm considering just stop and buy an X defense when I go there and buy the lot. And then I'll just go the Mart specifically for X defense if I really need them. That's TM, we'll just forget about it though, we still have good options. Alright, let's go. Oh, Ice Punch. I don't even remember getting that. That's a good move. Oh, okay. I don't really need Ice Punch, I guess. Got Thunderbolt for one cover for flying. Um, Patrol Pack for grass. Uh, let's sell all these.
So what about I about nine X speeds? Six or seven of you. Um good for X Pen. Then we'll fly to Cinnabar or Saffron. Oh better one Cinnabar, uh by Hakers. Uh, sure. Yeah, that's funny. It's really the first run. There was another run where I'd sleep out on PC and I was like, oh, I'll just save that to E4, but like, it's actually much quicker to get it straight away. Um, evidently, but proven by this run, man. So give me your slow Pokemon, like we are. Max out these, we go. Nice, full heals as well. Now I'm gonna go back to Indigo. There's a reason why I didn't take items on the PC first, because I wanted to make sure I got these items off. At least to be fair, they stacked anyway. Yeah, it's done. Alright, we're off Jordan. All RTMs. Oh, rare candies, etc. I don't want to hate you, that was a mistake. Oh, Alexis and Ethers, particularly. We're done. So we just hype me up and keep replenishing it. In between fights. So, what have we got? What do we say? Fire Blast. Jump Kick. Thunderbolt thing. The Bledge. Did I really get rid of Thunderbolt? I'm sure I had Thunderbolt too. Maybe it didn't have it. I don't know. Charm. I thought I was going to do something. I was going to deposit a core, it didn't matter. We still got strength in the fucking thing. But that was actually everything in my PC. Okay, let's go. Simple strat here, guys, and put them to sleep, use X speeds, attacks, and the, and the like. Again, Executor could have could put me to sleep first, though. And it does, fucking hell. Oh, nice, we were up there. It doesn't matter, really, I had a Poker Flute, anyhow. Oh, Confusion's worse for so. I don't know if I started this much. It takes a while to do this shit. It's just got me moves up. Teleport and shit. I right, speed in case it wakes up. I'll yeah, speed it now. Of course it wakes up. Bruh, confusion's the worst. Oh, I know, correct me. Oh, fuck off. You know, let's replay that. That, that fight went awfully. Hit me so confusion every turn, literally. No, except for one, but then it fucking wave up a tray right now. Pretty much. Ugh. Wake up again. Come on, bro. Stay asleep. Fuck it. I'll have to lick the for fucking sleep powder with this, bro. Should I next attack to fair? Oh, I woke up yet again. Stay down, Executor. And again, you know, get rid of it. We can probably go now, right? Shit, maybe not. I was gonna say, we we'll probably go and sweep over now, anyway. We've got two X attacks to expect. Oh, yeah, I fucking. Should've got rid of Waterfall by now. Should have kept the surf out. Um, but yeah, maybe it's time to teach Fire Blast then. Just for these rock ground Pokemon, I want to fight every train at least, but I may end up losing a fight and then I'll get rid of Waterfall, that'll be the move to go. Lack of us will still have speed, yeah, I knew it. Even with an X speed. We'll put him to sleep. I'm not sure Hyper will one shot. 
fucking misses anyway. We got a relatively like cheese south here. Um, but even with the cheese, E4 can be frustrating sometimes, but it just like kind of luck dependent sometimes. Golem. That's what were you were saving waterfall for. Oh my god, nice. It will save for like the longest turn possible. Bad. Yeah. I pretty much should one try for now. Finally. Except Shelda. Shelda does offer a good defense, to be fair. It's not the worst thing we could have seen, except closer. Ooh, vanilla hit on Lou. Bro, we were close to sub two hours in the end. It's fucking insane, like how polar opposite both halves of these was. A run of two halves. The second half was so fast. It was like 35 40 minutes from Koga. For like an hour 20 up until then. But normally it's basically vice versa. <laughs> Oh, crap. I was a bit lax, I think I'd already put the dragon ants to sleep, I was fucking daydreaming. Uh, like woke up pretty much straight away, but I didn't use any after saving to anyone. Didn't use the extra speed there. Oh, it's a defense spell. Oh well, let's switch on here. What is she doing? Put boost in their stats, but then switching out makes it redundant. Yeah, it's time to go then. Oh, no, we missed. Come on, bro. Uh, no play in a ball now. Got a few now. Just fucking kill it. How insane that is, though. It's a, we put like three X attacks on, I think. Nice, though. Still got through it. Pretty easily. It's definitely more of a meal of a third than the others.
I was right, somehow. I think it's more reflective of how fucking, like, weak the Pokemon have been in the second half of the game as well, to be fair. But yeah, we're not over level. We're gonna do it about level 53, which is pretty much standard. It's the average expectation. There are two speeds, two specials. I don't mind you double edging me to be honest on my star, get rid of your quicker. Oh fuck off. One Pokemon I didn't want to see Hyper on. I don't know it's Clam. You know what? Fine. I had two speeds and two specials, no X attacks. Time for them. You can just freely use X and you're stuck in like a clam or something. Or heals. Oh it has sleep harder. We should just full. Oh, see if I didn't full heal. Oh, I think this. I think that sleep reset all my X items. For fuck's sake. Okay, next time I'm putting on my star to sleep. I'm not entirely sure. Let's kind of gauge by what damage we're doing to stuff. I don't think it did actually. I think it's just if you full heal. I think flute's fine. Even with 2x speed, so electro dot speed, it'll probably crit me and kill me. Yeah, I knew it. I figured. This is a good team. I think it's a dangerous team for us to come up against. Next time we are, we're just fucking one shot. Oh my fuck. Do I not have Cybeam as well? Time to get jump kick thing. Do we need waterfall? I'm gonna make that as a second save save though, because it could be a mistake. I mean, Marak's fine, and everything in the team, if we have Jump Kick, I'm fine. Well, it's just in case for like a Golem or something, but then like a high power, high exercise. Like a song using Jump Kick, it shouldn't matter really. Sex I put on that? I put like two. Oh, I'm like fucking paralyzed. And when I'm gonna full heal the paralyzed, it'll just get rid of the uh, thing. Yeah, I should keep waterfall for this fight. Fuck it. I reloaded save state with the waterfall. Specials on the side. Pretty stupid fucking on the side. Yeah, we all put it to sleep. Yeah. We can do it to me. Oh, crit me. Come on. Unload me attack. And then we get caught on this. Fuck's sake. Yeah, comp's fine. Status bullshit, and I keep missing sleep hard on that. I'm getting really unlucky in there. This fight. It's fucking lands. We should just breeze through. Just put all the shit on of all of them on now, so that Executor's not gonna be a prob. Uh, Electro won't be a prob. Nice. Oh, you one-shot that. Yeah, but so many boosts on, there should be a fucking breeze now. Still Vaporeon lives though. Oh my god, it is good. Oh, a sand attack. It's not a good deal. Yeah, I do not want to see that. Oh, I 
Sorry about that, all I have to do is hit me out below, we'll quit me here. Shit. Are you fucking serious? It only hit me with one fucking sand attack, and it's free. Sand attack basically reduces it by a third, so they were 67% accurate moves. The one in free to miss, and it's three in a row. Classic. That's why I didn't even bother putting it to sleep. Sleep powder's naturally 75% accurate. With that, it become about 60, 55 accurate. Drill pack was so safe, man. Oh my god, it's just not working. Free XP is probably overkill to be honest. Probably only two, but. Whatever. Bro, for fuck's sake. It doesn't make. It doesn't matter, like, what I'm running, even this cheese. You always get so unlucky in E4. I swear that, like, the runs just get. The luck goes to shit. You start missing shit in E4. Is there, like, programmed to do that, I wonder? I'm genuinely. suspicious of it now. Like if there's a script to make you more likely to miss, and then more likely to crit, and sh shit like that. Anything I'm not gonna one shot, I feel like I'll just put to see. How did it outspeed me then? I had 3x speeds on. This, yeah, there's something weird about this game sometimes, the fucking speed choice on. I don't care who you are, even Electro, the fastest Pokemon in the game, but 3x speeds on. At my level, and some of the other X items, and bear in mind, we know they also elevate some of the other stats. Like, if I put an X attack on, it boosts my X speed by a little bit as well. I, I have no idea. In the slightest, how the fuck it survived up. Now, monkey's time was about 2 hours 20, so. Maybe that is the question. We should do. One in sixteen, I missed two in a row. I'll wake straight back up, so I'm not half popping. So that's two speeds, one of each special, two specials now, oh, wake up again. Let's see the game. And three X specials now. Oh. oh my god, fucking stay asleep. Got one at the uh, super left. Yeah. Pretty much self enough already. If, uh, that's free, free X attacks, free X speed. I should use an Ether for my hyper beam bullet. But again, it probably didn't matter. Job I could probably destroy everything and waterfall. <laughs> Still the one shot tentacle, oh my god. As long as I'm not getting crit, fine. Oh my god. How? So many X items. My stats really are shit. I don't buy it. No idea how that's a bad thing. Um, we'll finish off with the Ultra BM. Put it to sleep. No, it woke up anyway. No, it feels like it. Fuck off. <laughs> so, for full heal, we think I'll fuck off with him. So, it's a fluke. It could still kill me if I crit. I haven't put any X defense on. Or even if it just typers me. So, we're gonna hyper ourselves. 
or this type of thing. I always love the animation of Hyper Beam's Cool Spock and at GG, boys. Let's go. Amazing, amazing second half of the game there. The second we got sleep out, it was over. I am really poor speed, but it's chilling. Uh, I mean, obviously, most fights I could just X speed it up, but it just allowed me to set up whenever I wanted and pretty freely as well. Um, so, yeah, it's a really weird run, man. The start was horrific. I don't know if them EVs are good, or are they? 5, 13, 9, 2? <coughs> I feel like the 2 is probably my speed. I feel like even as far as like, a ton goes, I'd have slow like a ton. Um, based off some of the shit I got out of that buy. I'm happy. Um, but we did go sub 2 hours in game time. It's ended us out. We're still probably in the bottom half at the moment. Um, and we're still probably one of the worst performing, if not the worst performing, fully evolved Pokemon. But that second half was probably like top, definitely top 10. Probably like top 6 or 7. I would say fastest second half of the game. So if not even higher than that. Um, an hour 25, pretty much, we were to Koga. And then it was about 50 minute post Koga. No, yeah, 50 minute post Koga is really good. So GG, guys. Really a mixed bag of a run that was definitely an interesting entertaining one I think. <laughs> anyway, on to seeing what we're gonna run next. Um Tentacruel, I'm looking forward to this one man, let's go. Here's a go Pokemon. We encountered it quite a lot <laughs> in that run. Um uh, we saw how powerful it is. It was tanking a lot of shit, well I had like numerous X items. Look how good Tentacruel is man, it's so balanced. 80 HP, 70 attack. So the attack stats not insane. 65 defense. Uh, yeah, it says the attack stats not insane, but it's still better than slope. Um, like it's 100%. Uh, 65 defense, but most importantly, 100 speed, 120 special. Tentacruel is a fucking beast. It is one of the best Pokemon in the game, in my opinion. Um, kind of hurt, I think, by its actual vanilla moveset. Normally, when it comes to vanilla. And it's typing, I guess. Um, when it comes to Rando, it'll be one of the better ones for sure. If you look on this, it's all the way up there for base stat average. And like I said, there's not a single bad stat really. Our defenses are where 65. Um, we are weak to Psychic, Ground, Electric, Grass though. Um, all of which are quite common. All of which are pretty powerful moves. Um, but that speed of 100, I'll probably have to speed most stuff anyway. I feel like Tentacruel could be a run that challenges the top 5. It could be one that is very, very quick, man. I mean, look at this. Let's sort Pokemon by speed. I like Zan and Gengar we've done already. By speed, it's the same speed as Zapdos, even. It's faster than the other legendary birds as well, actually, I think. Yeah, it must be. They're like 890. It's faster than the Hornzer, it's faster than Arcanine. Same speed as Voltorb, which already run. Uh, but look at the special. Yeah, I mean, they're the two crucial stats, really, speed and special. We have the same speed as Zap, but only five less special on it. Look at this, man. That's really good. We tie with Kadabra and Magnuson for 120. Got better special on Hunter, Hypno, Jolteon, Vaporeon, Flareon, Amastar, Abra, Chance even, Stormy, Mew, uh, Mr. Mime, Gyarados, Dragonite, Venusaur, Ghastly. A lot of good Pokemon, I'm not gonna name them all. Uh, even Tentacool actually is special. Looking down there, it's pretty fucking impressive. Where is that? 100. Oh, that's really good. Um, Tentacool could be one of the best runs, one. Only thing is, uh, I hope we don't start with like acid, toxic, fucking smog or something. I'd, I'd rather we start with good water moves, um, because it will do prefer the same type. We'll probably mix it them too. Uh, but then we want special TMs. We, if we start, if we come out on moon like Gengar or Vile Plume did with like a real, with really good move sets like Flame Crow, Thunderbolt, Psychic or something. Uh, if we get them, get through Rock Tunnel, you know, we get drunk a bit early in mid of today, we could easily get on the podium um, or at the least look at top five so run i'm really excited with yet another pokemon that is a fucking beast 
We had so many out already. Um, like I said, we are due so many runs soon of these kind of Pokemon, or near the bottom. Um, yeah, man, I'm really happy with that. And uh, definitely a run that I think will be an exciting one. So stay tuned to find out.